Hi, my name's Martin Brown. I do the training for Invitec drives. I'm going to show you some of the more simple settings on the E2 drive and where you might use them. If you need more information about commissioning and setting up the drive, take a look at my previous video. The E2 has a few simple settings that allow it to operate more efficiently in many applications. The first parameter sets the maximum frequency. Long press on the navigate button to access parameter 1, short press again to see the value. Default is 50 Hz, let's set that to 45 Hz just to show. Long press to exit again and now we can run the drive and we see the maximum frequency is limited to 45 Hz. The next parameter is parameter 2, which sets the minimum frequency. The minimum frequency can be useful for pumps and fans, which often don't operate uh, effectively at low speeds. So we'll set a minimum frequency of 5 Hz, for example. Run the drive. reduce the frequency and it runs at the minimum frequency. I'll just reset the parameters by pressing the up, down and stop buttons together to bring us back to the parameter defaults and then press the stop button again to bring us back to the stop condition. Parameter 3 sets the acceleration rate. By default this is 5 seconds to 50 hertz. If we bring that down to say one second we can see the fast acceleration right now. The deceleration rate is set by parameter 4. Again we'll set that to one second and there's a fast deceleration rate. Normally when we stop the motor it decelerates at the rate set by parameter 4 but we can change that so that it switches off immediately. Now if we set parameter 5 to 1 it'll switch off and coast to stop in its own time. The next parameter is the energy optimizer. Parameter 6 sets the drive so that when it's running on a light load it reduces the magnetizing current and therefore saves energy. We set that to 1 to enable that. Now when we run the drive we look at the current and we can see that the current reduces. The next parameters are the motor parameters and we covered those in my previous video. So we'll scroll on to parameter 11 which is the boost voltage parameter. Parameter 11 increases the voltage of the motor at low speed to give additional torque. The default setting here is 4 Hz. As you can see there's very little torque available here. So now if we increase the boost percentage from 4 to 15, we'll have a lot more voltage available and generate a lot more torque. So now you can see there's a lot more torque at low speeds on the motor. The next parameter is parameter 12. This sets where the control for the drive comes from, the enable and the run signals. At the moment the signals come from the pot and the switch. But we're going to take the commands now from the push button front panel. So I'll set parameter 12 to 1. And now we can run the drive from the front panel, but we must still have an enable signal from the switch 
or from a wire link. We run the drive and we control the speed with the push buttons. The next parameter, parameter 13, gives a fault log of the previous four faults that have occurred. In this case, there's been no faults, so it's just reading no fault for us. The settings I've just shown you will allow you to meet most application requirements. For other settings, check out our other videos or go to invertech.co.uk.